Do you want to save money but don't know where to start? We've all been there, right? The idea of stashing away some cash seems daunting, almost impossible. But let me tell you, it's not only possible, it's crucial. Having a nest egg can open doors, offer security, and provide peace of mind. It's a practice that pays off in countless ways. Well, you're in the right place. Stick around and we'll give you some practical tips to start saving money. The first step to saving money is understanding where your money goes. Now you might think, I know where my money goes, I don't need to track it. But do you really? You'd be surprised how those small purchases add up, or how much you're really spending on takeout every month. It's like trying to lose weight without ever stepping on a scale. If you don't measure it, you can't manage it. Understanding your expenses is the foundation for any successful savings plan. It's about gaining awareness of your spending habits, so you can make informed decisions and take control of your financial future. It's not about guilt or deprivation, it's about empowerment and freedom. There's no one-size-fits-all approach to tracking expenses. You could use a simple spreadsheet, jotting down all your purchases and bills, or you could use a budgeting app. There are plenty of free ones out there that can connect to your bank account and track your spending automatically. You could even use a good old-fashioned notebook if that's what works for you. The important thing is to make it a habit. Try to record your expenses every day or at least every week. Be honest with yourself. Include everything, even that morning latte or that late-night online shopping spree. As you start tracking your expenses, you'll probably notice some patterns. Maybe you're spending more on dining out than you thought or your subscription services are adding up. This isn't a cause for panic or self-judgment, it's an opportunity for growth. It's a chance to ask yourself, is this really where I want my money to go? Is this bringing me closer to my financial goals? Remember, this isn't about cutting out all the joy and spontaneity from your life. It's about making sure that your spending aligns with your values and goals. Maybe that means cutting back on takeout and cooking at home more often, or maybe it means canceling a subscription service you rarely use and putting that money towards a vacation fund instead. Knowing where your money goes is the first step towards saving. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. You've got this. Once you know where your money goes, it's time to set a budget. That's right my friends, the B word, budgeting. It might sound like a drag, but trust me, it's actually your ticket to financial freedom. So what exactly is a budget? Think of it as a spending plan. It's a tool that helps you understand your income and expenses, and it gives you a clear picture of where your money is going each month. Now why is budgeting important? Simple. It helps you control your spending. And when you're in control, you can make sure your money is going towards the things that genuinely matter to you. That could be anything from paying off a debt, saving up for a dream vacation, or maybe even a down payment for a house. Setting a budget is like drawing a roadmap. You're deciding where you want to go financially and then figuring out the best way to get there. And just like any good roadmap, a budget also allows for detours and unexpected stops along the way. So don't worry if things don't always go exactly as planned. Here's a quick rundown of how to set up a basic budget. First, list down all your income sources. That could be your salary, any side gigs, or maybe some rental income. Next, identify all your expenses. Break them down into categories like housing, groceries, utilities, and so on. Now, subtract your expenses from your income. If you're left with a positive number, that's great. That money can go straight into your savings. If it's a negative number, it's time to take a close look at your spending and figure out where you can cut back. And remember, a budget isn't set in stone. It's a living, breathing thing that needs to be reviewed and adjusted regularly. So there you have it, budgeting in a nutshell. It's not just about tracking every penny, it's about making your money work for you. It's about aligning your spending with your values and your goals. Remember, a budget is your financial roadmap. It'll guide you towards your savings goals. So take the wheel, set your course, and enjoy the journey. Now that you have a budget, let's look at areas where you can cut down. First off, think about how often you're dining out or ordering in. Sure, it's convenient and tasty, but it can also be a major drain on your finances. Consider replacing some of these meals with home-cooked food. Not only will this save you money, but it's often healthier too. Next, take a look at your subscriptions. These days, it's easy to sign up for a bunch of different services and forget about them. You may have a gym membership you're not using, a magazine you're not reading, or a streaming service you barely watch. It's time to evaluate whether these subscriptions are truly worth their cost. 
Another area that often goes overlooked is impulse buys. Those little purchases here and there can add up over time. That coffee on your way to work, the new book you spotted in the store, or that cute top you bought on a whim. Try to curb these spontaneous expenses by asking yourself, do I really need this before making a purchase? Transportation is another area where many of us spend more than necessary. If you're driving to work every day, consider alternatives like public transportation, carpooling, or even biking if it's feasible. Not only does this save money, but it's also better for the environment. Lastly, don't forget about your utilities. You might be surprised how much you can save by being conscious about turning off lights, unplugging devices, or using energy-efficient appliances. Remember that every little bit counts. Even small changes can make a big difference in your financial health. And don't feel like you have to do everything at once. Start with one or two areas, and once you've made those changes, move on to the next. Cutting down on unnecessary expenses can significantly boost your savings. Another area where you can save is your utilities. Let's dive into some practical tips. First, consider unplugging your devices when they're not in use. Even if your devices are switched off, they can still draw power, a phenomenon known as phantom energy. By simply unplugging, you can save a surprising amount on your electricity bill. Next, let's talk about energy-efficient appliances. These are not only good for the environment, but they're also great for your wallet. They use less power to perform the same tasks as their less efficient counterparts. So, consider making the switch. Yes, there might be an upfront cost, but the long-term savings can be significant. How about water? A great trick is to install low-flow fixtures on your showers and taps. They can help reduce the amount of water you use without compromising the pressure. And remember, every drop counts. When it comes to heating and cooling, programmable thermostats can be a game-changer. These devices allow you to set your temperature preferences for different times of the day. That way, you're not wasting energy heating or cooling your home when you're not there. And finally, don't overlook the power of natural light. During the day, open your curtains and let the sun illuminate your home. It's a simple and free way to cut down on electricity usage. With a few simple changes, you can see a big difference in your utility bills. Scene script. Saving is just the first step. Now let's make your money work for you. Imagine your savings as seeds. You have been diligently collecting these seeds. Now it's time to plant them in fertile ground and watch them grow into robust trees. This is essentially what investing does. It's about taking your savings, your seeds, and planting them in various financial ventures. Investing is a way to potentially grow your money over time. Instead of letting your money sit idle in a savings account, you're giving it a chance to increase in value. This can happen through various means, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate. Think about it this way. If you keep your money in a jar, it remains the same. But if you take that money and buy a tree sapling over time, that sapling grows into a tree. If that tree bears fruit, you can sell the fruit, or even the seeds of the fruit, to earn more than what you initially spent. Now, investing isn't without risks. There's always a chance that the investments you make could decrease in value. That's why it's crucial to do your research, diversify your investments, and think long term. Investing can be a bit of a gamble, but with the right knowledge and strategies, it can be a game where the odds are in your favor. Investing can be a powerful tool to grow your savings, but remember, always do your research before investing. So, are you ready to start saving money? Let's recap. Understanding your expenses is the first step towards financial freedom. Setting budgets helps you keep track of your money, and cutting unnecessary expenses frees up more for your savings. Don't forget, saving on utilities can make a significant difference. And lastly, investing is a powerful tool for growing your savings. Start today, and you'll be surprised at how much you can save.